In today's video, I will be doing 100 Black Marsh runs with my brand new Tesla Den. Basically, I'm very bored. I can hardly wait for ladder and my PC isn't strong enough to run Elden Ring. So Diablo devs, Godspeed. Anyways, the Black Marsh, what is it? Well, hell if I know, go look it up on Google. No? That's my job? Fine. It's level 69 area, which is pathetic really, but after that insane Cold Plains video, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. What monsters roam this area, you may wonder? Well, goatmen, carvers, skeletons, archers, brutes, and bloodhawks. It's a very diverse place in terms of immunities. Instead of taking out the old hammer den again, I decided to rework my old uber smiter into a tesla den so I could be really lazy and just walk around. As for his stats, he's got max block, 300% magic find, 50% faster cast rate for that 11 frame breakpoint, and that's about it. He's got dual dreams with enigma and grief, magic find small charms in the stash, and for the build, I just maxed out the holy shock synergies and put the rest into zeal and conviction. I'm by no means an expert on a tesla din. This was the first one I ever made. I kind of just threw it together. Now here's me rolling both of the dreams. Very exciting. I decided to pick up a bone visage because it looks the coolest, but the roll ended up being so depressing that I kind of wanted to just charsey it. But uh, I am not that rich, so this is what we're rolling with. I then went on to roll the shield in a sacred targe with 39 all res, and goddamn, that's a good roll. We are going to pretend I didn't just waste an opportunity to have gotten a 30 FHR 64 all res dream shield because I bought a cheap base. It's fine though, it's fine, I'm not a perfectionist. And regardless, like, this is a great roll, come on. I can't complain too much. And with that, enough's enough, let's see the loot. A grand charm dropped from a chest on run six, which turned out to be a martial arts skiller. One of the ones you don't wanna see, fantastic. On run 12, I got some Bartux. Now when I first played Diablo at the young age of 11, back when the build was five points into every skill, I thought these were the best assassin weapons in the game. My adolescent brain would have never been able to comprehend that the best in slot was actually blue and yellow claws. On run 18, I found a wizard spike, the item that solves all your FCR, mana, and resistance problems at once. Yet everyone still prefers Hodo, cause, you know, damage. I found a druid elemental skiller on run 24, but my dumbass forgot to hit the record button, so I kinda missed the drop. I'm just glad I didn't miss a high rune drop, because no one would have believed me. Yet another skiller dropped on run 27, this time it was actually somewhat relevant to my build. I mean, it's not the best, but it boosts conviction up a little bit. I found a unique Dacian Falx on run 32, a neat item that has a chance to cast Frozen Orb on striking, but for this thing to be even remotely usable, it needs attack speed or a higher chance to cast. Run 46 rolls around and I get a set amulet from a chest. Was hoping for a Tal amulet, but I got the one with the two worst resistances and the plus to skills. I guess that's okay. Three runs later, I found a unique demon hide armor, which is skin of the flayed one. Lifesteal on a low level chest makes this a really solid early game mercenary armor. I like it. Something occurred to me on run 54. How the hell is this cow still alive? Are all the demons vegan? I don't know. 10 runs after the cow, I found a rock fleece, and I think I prefer skin of the flayed one. This one's just not that good. I then came across this orange wall texture glitch. Game is literally unplayable. On run 71, I found a crown of thieves off of a dead rogue. It wasn't ethereal, so back onto the ground it goes. Then a unique military axe dropped off a champion pack. This one is Warlord's Trust. It's a neat axe considering it can roll ethereal and still have that self for pair mod, but it still doesn't hold a candle to Ribcracker. On run 76, I got a small charm off of a Brute pack, and it turned out to be a nice little gold find small charm. An Umrune dropped on run 80, finally something of value. 12 games later, a unique item that I'm not going to pronounce out of fear of being made fun of in the comments dropped, a Kelpie Snare. Pretty cool weapon for bossing, it makes them too slow to cast spells so they just kind of stand there. In the next game, a shaman drops me a set canter trophy, a great item for a poison necro going for the Trang 3 piece bonus. And the last drop was on run 98, a classic IK maul. Solid weapon on an IK barbarian, obviously. So in conclusion, the black marsh wasn't that bad. Much better than the cathedral and the barracks. The density was all right. I found that there were anywhere from four to nine champion packs each run. However, I still think I prefer the cold plains solely based on the drops, which I'll admit is just RNG. But still, the cold plains got that super unique bishy bosh. 
Black Marsh got nothing on him. I give the Black Marsh a C+. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.